like sevens, eights, nines. The question is, is he really betting those on the river? But I think my combo wants to call a lot here. Pick up pocket aces. See, I'm not gonna be a super long stream, but still wanted to jump in the pool because you know Fridays are extremely juicy. So we wanna get some of that action. Calls. We can definitely check this one back. Good turn. Goes massive. I uh, think we pure call here with the Ace of Spades in our hands. Having a heart would be nice, but still. Just call, and we're definitely calling the river here as well as we played. If he happens to have pocket... He shouldn't really have fives and fours here against the three bet. And if he has pocket nines, that's totally fine. Just snap. Pocket nines running well again. Nice. Nice answer. Get some hands in here in this good pool and we flop the first set. Brilliant. Uh, he shouldn't really check this. We're gonna check it back. I mainly check back here. And I guess we have to start putting some money in. Four liner to the straight is pretty terrible. Good. Pocket queens. Sizing up a little here. Against the hijack open. And then block trips. We do like it. Uh, mainly go half here. And then I guess we bet small. Yeah. And then jam river. First cooler in seconds after start. Yeah, that's my life. Calls. Well, we're losing to King Jack, right? And pocket sixes. But I still think on the king we just jam here. The king is not a good card because his like nines and tens will be in a tough spot to call. But just get the rest in. Yeah, I think the king kills our action too much. It's a bit unfortunate. And the second splash pot 20 BB. The software is a bit laggy right now, feels like. We get absolute trash again. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's call the button here against the 2 BB open. Usually someone jams here. Nope. And we pop middle pair. If it goes check check, we're betting here. Mm -mm -mm. Go half. See if we can pick it up. We can. Let's go. Twenty BB. Variance free. <laughs> this guy says we would make a good couple: the Queen of Punts and Paul Punts. Uh, we're gonna check call here with the Ace of Spades. And now we're just gonna bluff the Ace of Spades. Do get called by King X. We just gotta walk with Aces. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I'm gonna show him the Queen of Spades if he folds. False. Why did he just call the flat? 
What happened? Three betting the King Queen. Against Thunder the Gun. Doesn't say much. And on this board structure, I really don't want to bet Fold. But we can probably just bet Call with our combo. <laughs> Paul Punts, he says. All right, check it back against him. Goes for the bet. We're going to peel one here and then bluff diamonds mostly. Although he does have nines and tens, obviously. Hit the king. Well, we got to call the king. <laughs> I hope you get on the reel. Uh, we have to call the king, obviously. Is it me or is the pool folding a lot? What a board. Oh my god. And he's so short, we're just gonna bet large, try to get the rest in here. <laughs> Where's this song, my friend? Alright. Uh, we're just gonna call against the donk. Give us a spade one time. Well, at least we hit the eight. Probably as a queen. Nice king. Genius. Maybe you want to 3-bet your ace-king pre. We're going to defend here with the ace-8 of diamonds on the button. Flop the nut. Flush draw against three other players. He should be checking a lot against this many opponents. Doesn't go for it, so his range will be extremely value heavy here he, because he's really not bluffing against three people. So uh, we call, try to get the others involved. Hit the ace. Interesting turn. No need to bloat the pot here. We're just gonna check this back. Uh, getting raised on this turn would be extremely terrible. How do we not get there? Well, we do have top air, but how do we not hit the flush at least once? I don't think we can even value, but this board is so dicey. Maybe against like King Queen. But is it really calling when the spade's complete? Probably not. Maybe like King Queen with a spade. King Queen. Oh, give us the flush one time, man. Well, so many diamonds were out, so obviously we do not hit it. I've been trying to study more spots where I'm playing 150 big blinds and deeper because they definitely change the game a little bit. Uh, we do some calling, we do some 4-bet calling, especially in these positions, so let's just call, see what happens here. Uh, wrong sizing, he should go bigger. Uh, we can raise or we can call, gonna call. That's a really good turn. So I think on the turn, like I'm gonna call and keep his bluffs in, I guess. Yeah, just calling here. <laughs> Why do you check? Well, when they check, we probably have to jam against like eights, nines, tens, right? Yeah. Bolts. Up the queens on the button. Can we stack a shorty? We can. Well, we don't know if we're gonna win, but against him, we're just jamming. Let's. Oh, first off, tag him for the short stack and then jam. Mace King, all right, actually has a hand. And we do not win the flip, it seems like. Queen! Queen. 
Yay! <laughs> nice one. Win the flip. Ace King. Easy three bets. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I think on the 10 we mainly check. How do we break? Like the only thing we're really beating is like King Queens, Ace Jack type of hands, but we block the flushes. So I kind that's like not a snap fold. There's definitely some calling we do here. The problem is he will have middling pairs a lot. Like sevens, eights, nines. The question is, is he really betting those on the river? So most people are not. But then again, it is 25, so people are not really buffing that much. But I think my combo wants to call a lot here. Perfect. 